Many times I enjoy making time-lapse videos, but to do that, since I have a Sony NEX 5N, I need a clicker for my camera. Unfortunately, I'm still here in Alaska and I misplaced it. So, I'm here at the Electric Snow Machine Lab in the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and Isaac there was nice enough to let me go use his soldering iron to go make a new one. Conveniently enough, there's also a Radio Shack right nearby, and I was working on an unrelated project that happens to have an AVR on it. So I'm going to turn this, it's a Ethernet controller, into a little clicker for my camera. Both for time lapse and heck, while we're at it, why don't we just make an a Ethernet controlled uh, camera clicker. On my Ethernet test board, I have both the Ethernet things and general purpose I.O. ports uh, exposed through just metal pads over there. And I'm going to be taking just these uh, resistors and a photo emitter, and this is an infrared emitter so it'll match up to my camera, and just solder to one of the GPIO ports. Conveniently, the camera can be triggered just through uh, flickering the infrared LED on and off at the, the right rate and encoding the right information, which I should be able to do through one of those GPIO ports. So I'm going to go take these out and solder them on in. It's now soldered up to one of the extra pins and ready to go. Just got to go write some code. I'm back down here at the electric snow machine lab. Behind me is their wind tunnel. Pretty cool thing, huh? So, I'm using the webcam on my laptop because I use my regular camera for time lapse and for YouTube. Now I'll be using the webcam for this part of the video. I have in my uh, left hand here the actual device. And over here is the camera. It's set up to uh, use the uh, infrared port. So I'm just going to take a test picture right now. Okay, that's working. If I go and I ping the device, and I'm going to do it at one second interval, it should take a picture one per second. I would call this a success.